hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made these milestone photo banners these are super easy to make and all you have to do is just grab this file on my blog which i will link it below but for now let's go ahead and get started right now we are on my workspace and i'm just going to click upload upload browse and when you download a file it is usually saves on the default folder which is the download folder when you get a zip folder, make sure to unzip it first. Otherwise, you will not be able to upload it on Design Space. So here's the SVG file, and let's just go ahead and double click. I haven't figured out why this message is showing on Design Space, but if any of you guys know why, please comment below. So I'm just going to click Continue, and it should be fine. This is the screen you'll see when you're uploading an SVG file. So just name the file add tags if you'd like then click save click the image and then insert so the file is sized really big but you can adjust it on the top panel right here and i'm going to change the width to eight in inches and i'm going to move this up here for a better view i'm just using a cardstock that is eight and a half by eleven so I'll need to change the height on this at 10.2 in inches. And right here you can see that it's grouped and that you can ungroup. And here are the different layers. So let me go ahead and ungroup so you can see what happens when I click make it. So it automatically thinks that I'm using a 12 by 12 cardstock, which I don't have. So I'm just going to zoom out. And this is where you go when you want to change the size of the materials you are using. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to choose 8.5 by 11. Then click continue. You'll notice my settings are set on fabric only because my blades are getting dull and I didn't have time to purchase more blades before this video. So if you have a new blade, you will want to stick with the cardstock settings. Place the cardstock on the cutting mat and I'm using my Cricut roller to ensure that the cardstock is sticking to the mat. Now load your mat and click start. Unload the mat once it's done cutting. Right here you can see that the blade sort of dragged and didn't fully cut the cardstock, which is fine, we can always cut it. Let me just take my knife and slice that little piece. I'm just going to gently remove the cardstock away from the mat. Then I use a spatula tool to help me lift the cardstock from the mat. So this way it doesn't bend or tear. Just be careful not to scratch your mat with a spatula. Also, I wanted to show you how I cleaned the little pieces of cardstock left onto my mat. Just take any old credit card or gift card or any scraper you prefer. And then what I do is I sweep the little pieces towards me. And there you go. So on to the next video, I will do a print and cut photo that I'll be using for this banner. Also, don't forget to grab that free file on my blog, which I will link it under the description box. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.